Hey guys, this is Snatic Starcraft, and I'm back at Season 4 of Starcraft 2. And I'm Rank 4, what do you know? I have been laddering a ton, and uh, I want to get back into this, man. Um, so I've been browsing around the forums, and so Monksy asks, How do you deal with uh, Fast Forge Expand into X Gateway? Probably meaning like 7, 8 maybe, with uh, you know Blink Stalkers and all that. He asks, he gets a fast third and end up losing in drone count and die to an x gate pressure. It doesn't even need to be a plus two blink all in. A plus two blink all in is pretty strong. Uh, they contained me on three base. Um, you know, pretty much he says he needs help. So most of the replies tell him he needs a layer tech, uh, some roaches, some hydras, you know, the general stuff. But I've decided to uh, cast a video of me dealing with it and seeing... Uh, how I deal with it and how successful it is to do. All right, so let's get back in the game. Uh, I'm gonna be going against Zug Zwang at 385 points, and he is going to do the plus two blank stalker all in. So um, the, the the way you deal with uh, seven eight gate pressure all in whatever, you it's pretty much the same for this blank stalker build. Um, I feel like it will. Uh, be the same thing and the way you deal with it is the same way so uh, I'll be spawning in the top right hand side here and uh, it is cross position so this is pretty far uh, the map is whatever crypt or something um, good luck going around I don't even know what the hell to say I haven't talked in so long well I have talked but not to myself in the mic it's always so awkward when you're talking to yourself seriously it's, it's just weird. Whatever. So, Forge Expansion... We'll see a Forge Expansion coming down from Zug's Wang, because obviously this is in response to uh, uh, the guy who wanted help from uh, pretty much the gateway all-in shit, you know, the, uh, the whatever, you know, gateway stuff. So, uh, the build I use against Protoss now, especially uh, in longer maps, is... Protoss have got greedier. They've gotten greedier over the seasons. They always seem to forge expand on like most maps. Some maps they choose not to, but on most maps they will forge expand. So I copied, um, well, a lot of people do it, so I don't know if it's a copy, but you know, lots of pro players like Idra, Sen, uh, I don't know who else, but uh, they like to throw down a pool at 12, and I've noticed that, and I've gone into going like, why would you pool at 12, right? Why don't you do it at 14 while you uh, do it later to get more drones? But um, when you get a pool at 12, if they nexus first, you can actually uh, rip down the front cannon before it comes down. So uh, if they do go nexus first, you actually get your lings in their face and start poking their cannons, and you can just drone st straight up and doesn't really affect too bad. See I'm blocking my expo here, I do decide to go three pairs of lings and uh, a queen. Probably uh, droning up after that and throwing down my expansion. He on the other hand has thrown down his nexus and uh, he's waiting for a cannon. Scouting, so he knows that this early pool is coming and all that. He didn't nexus first so I couldn't really do too much. Throwing down my expansion now, supplies are... Mm, doesn't really matter the early game. I mean, none of us screwed up on a macro too hard. Another pile on here, finishing his wall off. And the forge expands are pretty good in the harvesters, man. They, they're ahead on harvester, on harvesters for most of the game, like uh, the guy said in the thread. Which is really true. Uh, just doing some scouting with these five lanes. Can't really scout too much. There's nothing gonna be. There's, there's not gonna be much in this base. He's just completing his wall off, pumping a lot of probes. You know, chrono boosting probes at 19 pillars now. Um, getting in my overlords to spot the uh, expansions, so there's no uh, stupid pylon cannon shit here. Where uh, oftentimes uh, when you throw down your third. Protoss is like to, you know, throw down a pile on here, a pile on here, and a cannon, or two cannons or something, and you don't have vision of that, so by the time your hatchery's up and you do gain vision, you're like, oh crap, well he has two cannons and that expansion's gonna die. So uh, his harvesters is relatively ahead right now, getting his gases, uh, side of the going down right now, going for the fast third in response to his forge fast expand, 
uh, will do me relatively well in droning up, but uh, I will catch up in probes sooner or later, not now. Probably around the, I think, 7 minute mark, we'll, 7 or 8, maybe 9, we'll finally catch up, but uh, double chrono boosts on probes are just crazy. They get them out pretty fast, and now we can build more than one drone at once. But man, you gotta build your queens that cost minerals, some more zerglings that cost minerals, because uh, I didn't see that zealot come, and most protoss nowadays like to throw two or three zealots to scout for your third, and Zealous Rave Zergling, so, uh, yeah, he was supposed to go on, I know, but he's not, sorry. Um, probe's coming down right now, supplies are getting pretty even, making two more sets of Zerglings, uh, want to deal with these Zealots. Try to get him to not scout my third, but he should expect it anyway, so not that big of a deal. Zergling speed on the way, uh, layer we should get at around, uh, We'll see when I get it. We should get it about now. Mm, there you go. Boom. Go. 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 Oh my god. What a joke. Go. There you go. Alright, so at around 7. That's pretty fine. Twilight Council going down. No overlords to scout, really. Uh, this one's coming in for a scout. Uh, no overlords here, though, but. Um, most players will have something watching for that, and it doesn't really matter anyways. What your key is to look for the gases. I like to look at the gases at the, uh, the natural, because most protoss get the first, these two gases, like, always. No matter what build they're doing, they always get these two gases. These two gases, on the other hand, it depends what they're doing. If they get four at, like, the eight-minute mark, you can expect something like a two Stargate, you know, something crazy with a lot of gas coming in here. I don't see that gas being taken, and I see two stalkers, two gateways, and I did send in a zergling to uh, scout that this was researching for plus two, so I am ex expecting a gateway. Uh, some kind of gateway, you know, all in, or pressure, etc. I mean, why would you get ground weapons if you're going with air and so crap, so... Uh, Roach Warren on the way, plus one on the way. Uh, you just want to keep droning up, because uh, if you don't you drone up, you're not going to have enough resources, you're not going to have enough uh, miners to pump out a mass ton of roaches. And if you don't drone up, like, pretend that if I know he's going 7-gate uh, all-in or whatever, I'm not just going to stop and build roaches, build roaches, build roaches. I, I still need my drone count high so I uh, can rally up faster than him, since uh, he'll be attacking than me. Creep's is horrible this game, by the way. I, like, forgot Creep. But that's not to worry. Creep's Red is always good, though. So, plus two is on the way. A blink is almost done. And all those gateways are going to come. So, uh, this is when you expect him to attack. Um, have the Zergling watching tower. Should see when he attacks. Pumping only roaches now. Getting another evil chamber for probably upgrades, you know. <laughs> not probably upgrades. Yes, for upgrades. Uh, stopping at uh, 55 drones, so yes. Uh, how do you, how can you tell when you have enough drones around? Uh, this base is saturated, maybe a little bit oversaturated. This needs a bit more, and this is around maybe like a quarter. So when you have around two and a two and like a third bases saturated of drones. Oh my god, the word is so shitty on that. Uh, around 50 55 drones, you should stop and just mass roaches. Roach speed should finish in time for this. Um, plus one will finish as well. And all you need to do from here is rally roaches, build overlords, and uh, micro your roaches. So blink is the most annoying skill in the game against people. Well, not in the game, but you know, against blink stalkers are crazy, man. They get like three three stalkers with colossus and oh god, blink is horrible. That is so cost effective. So he's not getting that gas now. He only needs three gas. And from here, he's just going to mass stalkers, it looks like. So all you need to do, like I said, is mass roaches. And uh, although uh, I could have done a lot better if the creep was spread all around, it would have been a lot easier. Uh, my roaches would have been faster. I could have attack moved uh, up faster. But holding this from here is simply not too hard. I mean, if his, his blink micro wasn't terrible, 
but it wasn't too amazing at the same time, so we could have done we could have done better, but I'm staying ahead of the spy so bad. Keep up with your injects, your injects are key. If you don't have another roach round coming and he is around a stalker's coming, you are dead. So the key point in this generally is to uh, don't over drone, but don't under drone. <laughs> I feel a bit safer now. He might have backed up, back, uh, backed off. So I build a bunch. I uh, build like eight drones with my excess minerals. So that's not too bad. My roach ball is still pretty big, and I feel confident to uh, make a couple drones in between there. Plus one armor finishing as well now. He's coming in for attack, and this stock or this zergling can see everything. And I probably should have checked that tower, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter if I could see the, uh, rallying more stuff or not. So he's continuing to just rally stalkers and zealots with his extra minerals. Uh, trying to take me out here, but he can't. My production is simply too high. It's 61 drones now. Upgrades are at 2 1. 20 stalkers are just getting overwhelmed by roaches. And uh, I decided to clean up his whole army, so why not uh, kill him? It looks like he realizes just now that his uh, blink stalker all in didn't work so well. So he's probably planning for an expansion or something. 800 minerals, kind of like one throw on a nexus or something. Rally all my roaches here. Take all your hatcheries here. Rally, yeah, rally them right there. Uh, plus one, plus one is done. Uh, just need to rally roaches. Injects, keep up with your injects. Try. If you're not, I mean, it doesn't matter if you miss like a little bit, but inject man. Roach is coming down, and just cleaning up the stock here. There's simply too much production for me. I'm constantly building like 12 roaches at once, and uh, 7 gates just can't keep up with that. I have so much resources. I'm at 3 bases too, so my saturation of drone the spread is a lot better as well. I'm just desperately trying to hold this off, but once he's attacked, his all in failed, I mean, it's an all in, so you, can't, you don't really have a fallback plan for that, so that sucks, man. But, uh, we are almost done here because he has no army almost. Man, he simply does not have anything. So, this, uh, dealing with 78 pressures when he stalked it all in or something was, it was something hard for me before, but. Like, once you get used to it, since so much Protoss do this mass gateway stuff, you you learn and you just know how to stop it. So, uh, thanks for watching the replay. I will start casting again or whatever. I know I, I don't seem reliable, but I will, be ke I will keep casting. And uh, it might not be a game of day, but I will try my best to uh, put out a lot of videos there. Let me know if this video was helpful. Um, and if you want to support me, just watch these videos. That's all you need to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.